Hey guys, thanks for joining us. In this course we're going to go through the setup it takes to build your own website. This course is going to be for people who want to set up their own shops, have fans that they want to direct them to with their page, or maybe just wants to blog. Uh, so I'm a computer engineer and I'm working as a software engineer in the IoT field. And I've done a lot of different websites for clients and I've thought that it would be good to set up a series and help you guys understand the process of setting that up and what it takes to really get your website out there. So I hope you enjoy this course and stay tuned. Thank you. WordPress is a content management system. It allows you to easily put in different themes and uh, build a lot of friendly websites without having to worry about different screen sizes and everything like that. Um, so first things first is we're going to need to set up a server. For WordPress there are a few options here. Um, so you have your basic plus and your choice plus. Um, so really the difference here is that you're going to be building based off of what you want to do in the future. If you just have one website you can get your website, it will still give you the SSLs, free domains, um, and be able to build your site for what you need. Um, when you look at the Choice Plus, this may be for a user who is accessing a lot of different websites and working with um, multiple clients for hosting and things like that. So really, you will have to make the choice of what you're kind of looking for. Um, and that normal rate is $14.99, but with the link that we provided now you'll be able to get the Choice Plus for $5.95 or get the Basic for $3.95. Okay, so for what we're doing here, we're just going to go with the Basic setup. First step is to set up your domain. Bluehost will be our server, that's where it will host all of our WordPress files. And a domain is, you can think about it like this, your, your domain is your address to your site, right? But on the internet, everything has to go through DNS. So when it goes through the DNS, the, the domain name server will grab your website. So if it's google.com, it will hit the DNS. And that website, google.com, has an IP address associated to it. So the DNS will translate it to the IP and then grab the information. Um, so everything on the internet is number based everything's an IP but people create domains so that it's easier to read you're not going to remember a really long IP address it's much simpler to go to mywebsite.com okay so once you finish choosing your domain you're going to need to fill out all of the relevant account information to finish setting up your Bluehost server um, so with the choice plus plan like we mentioned it's $5.95 a month and the reason why you'd want to go with this to get the 36 months price locked in is when you build a website you know it takes time to get the traction for your fans to recognize you and building that audience so you wouldn't want to just get a website for a year and have it shut down as soon as everyone started to realize who you are so it's important to get that nice locked in price um, so I would recommend going with the 36 months and then this also comes with the free SSL and the domain that we chose will be free. So with the SSL protection, that's how you're getting the HTTPS website. So it uses a 256-bit encryption for your website and it tells your browser that, hey, this is a trusted site and it has the certificate of someone who we trust. So that is what you'll see here. This is uh, Bluehost SSL that allows you to get to the site. And when you have a HTTP, that is somewhat something of the past. It's not as secure anymore. Um, so some browsers now will even say, hey, this site isn't secure. It's not using the latest SSL encryption. So it is nice that uh, Bluehost servers will give you free SSLs because um, some other providers make you pay yearly for this. So with the package we chose, we get the free domain privacy. What that is is um, the account information that you filled in would need to be shown on public records when someone says who owns this site, then they can look at this site and say, okay, it's 
owned by you and this is where you live. And when you have that domain privacy protection, Bluehost will actually say that, hey, this is our site. The owner's anonymous, but we are the providers. So it's not going to use your personal information. It will use Bluehost's information. And with this, we get the CodeGuard Basic, which that is your site backup. So you don't have to worry about um, manually backing up your website every time if something ever happened it keeps a basic backup of each day so then you can recover from failures. We're gonna skip the SEO tools today but it's something you can check out. Bluehost does offer a lot of extra features for SEO and will they will be able to help you with that if you need to. And also the Office 365 email. Um, so what that is is when you set up your domain you'll also get email addresses associated to that domain and then um, you can use other companies such as Office or Gmail to route your emails through their servers and you'll get their nice interface that you're used to if you don't want to use Bluehost's built-in email servers. Um, and then the site lock security, that will enable you to have more protection against malware and people um, cross-site scripting and other uh, people just trying to spam your website. So that's something you should consider and it's something that you can also add in later when you're ready. So from this point here, now we're gonna need to enter our credit card information so it can process your payment. And then on the next video, we will walk through the Bluehost website and we will get started with setting up your WordPress site. Don't forget to read the terms and conditions, accept that, hit submit, and then we'll see you on the next video.